Lord of the Block Phoenix Hill here and welcome to another Farming Sim 22 Mod Spotlight. This is where we check out some cool mods and give you guys my thoughts and opinions and I'll leave them like down in the description down below so you two can go download them if you are interested. Now today we're going to be checking out the map Stone Valley Farm. Now I believe this was out in 19 as well. It might be a little bit different. I don't know. But we're going to check it out. It looks it looks like it's pretty good. You know I like flat maps and this looks pretty flat. Oh my goodness I'm going to get hit by a car. Anyway, this is where we start off at. You actually start off right here in front of the sign. It's pretty neat. I like the, the lettering, too, or the numbering. It's pretty pretty awesome. Nice little enclosure. I'm not a huge fan of fences, but this is this, this is fences done right right here, right? I don't know if you need to double up fence, but, you know, this is fencing done right, if you ask me. As long as it's not around the edge of the field, I'm good. I'm good with it. Got some shops here. I guess this is going to be your main farm. This is where you start off at. You start off with two. Oh, good lord! Some of these fields look huge. We're gonna check them out. But yeah, what Lee? I don't have my fast car in this one um, because oh, okay. This is this is unique. So it's like it already started off. Like you already started off harvesting as soon as you load in. That's pretty awesome. I have. This is the first time I've loaded in this map. I literally, literally just downloaded it. And jumped in it to see w what it was before I start recording. This was already like this. So this is pretty neat. Uh, you actually, it's actually like set for already harvesting. I like that. I do like that. And then you have your uh, plow over there ready to go. It's like he had AI do it because look at this. <laughs> this is total AI move. Uh, so we have our silos, we have our starting area, our, our starting equipment. Some stuff in the door, dogs just wandering around there. Nothing, okay. So nothing's parked indoors. Everything's parked outside. Alright. And we do have a fenced in backyard that our dog is just wandering out of. <laughs> You'll love to see it. Um. Anyway, let's hop in this truck because, like I said, I don't have my fast car because I pulled everything out because I had to host the uh, snowplow, as you can see. The snowplow multiplayer game. So we're going to head up here and see what in all this map has to offer. These are some decent sized fields. Oh my goodness. Okay. So much for it being flat. Look at the. Okay. So much for being flat, we just you go down a giant hill there. I like the detail. Well, the detail's pretty nice. Needs to be. Okay, which way do we want to go? Which way did we go? Which way did we go, George? Which way did we go? We're gonna go this way. This must be our animal dealer. That's what it looks like. That's a big animal dealer. The Larson's Livestock Auction. Nice, 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 nice. I don't know what that's supposed to be. It's supposed to be something. Y'all floated something there. Moving on. I do want to see which field was it look like? One. It feels big, but it doesn't it doesn't look huge. Can we go down beside it? All right, screw it. It's a floating sheep. Yeah, it looks huge on the map, but it doesn't look huge. It doesn't. I mean, it's definitely large, but it's not huge. Huge. If that makes any sense. So, manageable. Manageable. I like it. Bigger, but not ginormous. I'm pretty sure it would take us uh, a whole stream with our little <laughs> our little combines that we're currently using. But it's manageable. Like, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. I wouldn't mind using it, I should say. What is this? We're just something. Oh, well, this is our cow farm? Maybe pig farm. 
I don't know unless I buy it. I'm pretty sure this is. Can you? Oh, you can buy everything in between too. <gasps> oh, me like you, me like you a lot, me like you a lot. Okay. I love it when they add it so you can buy the, the little land in between fields and stuff. It just it, it's it's so much better when you get like you own everything. A fully colored map is just so much better than you know fields being colored and the outlines not like the out the area around the fields not you know, it just drives me insane. See. They, they look big, but they're not. They don't look huge, huge. So this is manageable, in my opinion. I like this. I don't think this is the same layout as the other map. Again, feel, feel free to correct me. I don't remember much about 19, especially since we're so far into 22. We're like what three years? We're going on three years in farms in 22. Oof. Yeah, it's been it's been a while. But, yeah, I don't remember much about 19, but I could have sworn. Maybe I'm looking, thinking of the, the wrong valley. There was, there was a couple of different maps that came out with valley in the tiles. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong valley map. I could be wrong. I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing this is a sail point here. Yep. I like the detail. I, I love... It's just... You know, I'm a sucker for good detail. Oh, we have a town. We have a town. I thought the other place was a town, but nope, this is, this is definitely the town here. So we have our, our, our uh, shop, where we buy stuff, we have a market there, we have a little, little area over here, diner, or more gas station and a diner behind it, we have a playground. Trailers. That's what I right right next to my playground. The the methed out trailer. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Not not huge, but just enough to be a town. I like it. Twelve looks like it's the biggest feel on the map, so we're gonna get a good look at that real quick. So yeah, I feel like bigger equipment, this would be easy. So if you want like a, a you know, not to just be like zip, 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 zip through this stuff. I feel like maybe use medium size equipment. Uh, I feel like small equipment might take you a while, but it's totally manageable. I mean, from other stuff we've seen being like huge, this is, this is manageable for like medium sized equipment. You can even get away with smaller equipment. There's some smaller fields here. We missed our turn. So you can get away with smaller sized equipment as well. So the, the larger fields might take you a little bit. I do like this though. I, I re I'm eating my words now when I say flat because when you first log in it does look pretty flat but once you start driving around you quickly realize not so much like this area this is where you spawn in at looks pretty flat and then that happens down there and you quickly realize it is not as flat as you thought I'm going to say this is the cow barn over here so the other places are probably pig and sheep this is definitely cow calling it right now whoa did I go through the cemetery to get to the this is some giant crosses oh my goodness yikes Hey, the scaling's off on that one just a little bit. How massive them crosses and tombstones are. They're like the size of a person.
Oh. I did not see that gate there. Yeah, this is definitely cows. Why is this not moving? Goodness, it takes forever to start up. Don't like the fence here along the field. That would have to go for me. Cow barn. Indeed it is. Alright. I think I've seen enough to uh, give an opinion on this. Um, I'd say this is probably my favorite. That's not a truck letting the air out of the brake. I swear that's my heater. Um, this is by far my favorite map recently that I've seen. Uh, I feel like it is... Uh, it's really, really well detailed. Like the trees, there's a, you know enough trees to make it feel aesthetically pleasing, but not overly done. There's a lot of maps that will just go crazy with the trees. This one has enough, but not too many. If that makes any sense. Um, the roads look good. The like, you know, the layout of them. They're not janky like some of the other maps we've done. Uh, so this is by far like my favorite uh, map I've, I've seen here recently for 22. Uh, with that being said, I'll give it a 5 out of 5. It is, like I said, it's a really nice looking map. Uh, I could see myself playing on it. That That's a huge uh, factor for me. If it's something I can totally see myself spending some time on, eh, it's, it's worth the download. Um, the only thing that I, I, I don't really like about it is some of the fences along the fields that that's really the only thing I can complain about it um, everything else is really really good like, just, like this little area up right here it's, it's just the details uh, that, that's what does it for me like look at that love it so that'll do it for me what and this is where we got launched to that might be a problem right there yeah okay so that, okay, there's an issue. <laughs> anyway, that's going to do it for me for today's video, guys. If you guys didn't like the video, be sure to leave a like down below. It does help me out so very, very much. And I do appreciate it so very, very much. If you guys do want to see future Farming Sim 22 mods, follow be sure to click that subscribe button. If you guys want to be notified whenever I do go live. Sorry, I keep thinking about those cars. Whenever I do go live or upload a video, be sure to click that notification bell. Uh, and as always guys, thank you so very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. <laughs>